Good afternoon everyone. Thank you so much for the time that has been given to me to make this video presentation to promotion a destination tourism class. Firstly, my name is Chandia Wantelamanua. I am the class B, the third semester. Firstly, the, the honorable to my lecture, Mr. Apore Tahir Harepa, is my lecture subject in public speaking subject matter. And the honorable also to all the audience who watched my video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe this video.
one hour again to go to the Sawaki. But first we have to take a rest.
this occasion, I would like to explain my presentation in the five parts. The first part is uh, what is the locator or where is the located or from the subject data bits. The second is what is the interesting of what is the attached from this subject data bits. The third is what is the I'm history or what is the how this subject data bits cancel. And the fourth is what the weakness or what the, uh, the disadvantages from this is. And the last is from what is the prohibition if you come in this patch. Alright, talking about location, this Sawakete beach is one of the most beautiful beach in Afulu village. So you can know this uh, Sawakete beach is so location in Afulu, actually in Walu, Afulu district from the north east. Sawakete beach can only be accessed by using motorcycle or bicycle. Remember, just motorcycle. You cannot use the car if you want to get on this Sawakete beach on this destination time. Because this uh, the patch or this uh, way from the Saudi Arabia is just a pathway, so you can use a car or a bus if you want to go this place. And remember also, if the Saudi Arabia is far from the uh, road of the big road, so you need to careful if you want to use the pathway because you have to ride the pathway. It is so small, it's just about. 50 centimeters, so we have to careful in riding your motorcycle, and you have to follow as so many in between inside your uh, coconut tree because the pathway is not good so much. Oh wait, also if you are people from the Gunnistoli town, you need two hours or more if you can go on the Sawakita Beach in your north area because the distance from the Gunnistoli town until this destination is about 109 kilometers. 109 kilometers, and it is so far. And it is about 42 kilometers from the capital of the Nornias or the Lotu district. So, if you go from the Nornias or the Lotu capital, you need one hour or more, maybe one hour. Hours. Something that attracts people's attention to come on this destination place is because of the clean water of the sea. This is the first reason of people to come on this destination place. And also, this Sawakete beach has so many uh, coral, beauty coral reefs. And it's about 19% from the Sawakete beach. It's not sand, but it is a uh, coral reef. And also, the visitors of uh, this Sawakete beach is almost from the local uh, visitors. It's about from the Afulu people, or maybe Wau people, or maybe a uh, uh, lot of people come to here. And not so many people is come from uh, as a tourist or the foreign people. It's not come here because the foreign people is not have a place to make a diving here or make a zooming. So uh, the people who come to this destination place is just a local a tourism place. Another reason why people is so very really love to swimming in this uh, destination or of this Sawakete beach is because this Sawakete beach is half a level of the deep of the water and so many uh, people or so many family come to here just uh, for swimming because uh, the deep of the water from here is just about uh, half of meters and also there are a part, some part of this beach is half a deep or more than two meters so but it is very safe if we bring our children and I recommend that if you want to swimming this is the best place to swimming because this is not too deep this is like a pool there's a half a many park uh, there are so for children for adults or uh, others from uh, the parents also so we can swimming on this destination place you can see on my behind also there are children or the two children that have swimming right now
Usually people to visit in this destination place just on the weekend or in the Sunday because in the Monday until the Saturday you cannot uh, see people from here because there are no people who uh, come to this destination place. This is just a beach like the other beach. But in the Sunday you can see the many people over here. But when we are going to now, I don't see the many people because I think uh, the people is so busy in their jobs and everybody. Average people who come to here just take a swimming or just make uh, taking a photo with their family or just take a walk to see the view of the panorama of the celebrated beach. And one thing that you have to pay attention if this destination place is there are no canteen here. So if you come to destination place, there's no canteen. So you just uh, to have bring your food or bring your drink if you come to here because. If you come to here, you cannot see any canteen here. They can uh, make you, or they can give you a snack or a food. All right, now we are talking about the historic lake from the South Beach. Maybe you are wondering, maybe you are asking me or her, what is the history of the South Beach? Why is the name is South Beach? All right, now I'm uh, a little telling about the history of the South Beach. Actually, South is uh, two from from the two of syllable of Nias uh, language, is Sawa and Kete. First is Sawa. Sawa from the Nias uh, language is mean uh, a deep sea water, and Kete is mean uh, small. So if you are connect the uh, two words, Sawa Kete, it means uh, a small a street a sea. The well, history of the Sawakete Beach also cannot separate from the earthquake uh, in Nias Island in 2005. <laughs> we are, as a Nias people, we have to know in the earthquake in 2005 is so big. It's about 8 or more per scalar return and that's make a big impact from every people and also in this destination class. Firstly, there are no tree or no island here. There is no island from this uh, south of the beach. But after a quick, the big impact is happened is the release from the, the sea water is up to 200 meters uh, go from uh, the beach until we make a new beach. So this is our Kete beach actually just come after the earthquake in 2005. We come and up because the air water shape is not this place anymore, but the sea breeze uh, a long move and in the uh, ocean. So after the earthquake in 2005, is born so many small islands in Afrodo district, including the Sawakata. The best part of the destination place of this South Korean beach is this cottage. Where this cottage is similar with the home tree because this is meant to people who make to take a photo or make a video like me 
or just uh, you know, take a seat with your family. So in this church, you can see all the view from the uh, south of the village. This is so beautiful and this is so interesting. Alright, something that have to dressing people the things in the South Asian village is the love stone. But this love stone is mean uh, this stone is the color where it is half set like a love. Okay? But this is can we see the view if we come in the middle of the sea. So this is a view is very very hard if you can swim in because we have to swim in the middle of the sea and see or diving to see the stone. <laughs>
Anyway guys, that's all about my presentation from Moshin this Sawakete Beach. I hope you have to enjoy this video, have to get something best information to visit this destination place if you want to. And you have to remember everything that what I see you for your vision, weakness, strength, and also what is the wonderful for this place to visit to your family. So thank you so much, Yahoo!